Hi YouTube! Welcome back to my Random Thoughts on Thursdays. This particular edition is going to be somewhat sad as I have a rather tragic story to tell about something that happened to a close friend of mine. So what I want to talk about today is a tragic story uh, happened to a close friend of mine and at the same time hope it serves as a reminder to all of you out there to keep in mind friends and family and loved ones before you get behind the wheel either drunk or with a cell phone or if you're too tired um, think about it two and three times before you do that because you never know if you're going to survive that trip and is it really worth it. So what happened recently was my really good friend, um, her two youngest children, and they were age 16 and 17, uh, did a, took a summer job out of state and I remember uh, her, my, my friend, being very, very um, scared about letting them go but trying very hard to be a good mom and letting her kids spread their wings and finding their way in the world. And last week the worst possible thing could happen. Um, the kids were driving. Um, I'm not going to say too many details, but they were killed in a tragic accident. Uh, there's no fault or blame to be had by anyone. Uh, there's a lot of details that have not been released, but um, needless to say, it was basically just a tragic accident, uh, probably brought on by sleep uh, deprivation more than anything else. Um, that's the, the best guess at the moment. And you can't really lay blame for that on anybody. Um, however, it ripped two children out of the lives of their family um, who are now devastated at the loss and my heart is still breaking for my friend uh, she's such a good generous lady and and I love her so much and to see her darling children just taken away from her um, has been such a very sad experience and I've I've cried an awful lot because of it um, and I can't even imagine what she must be going through or um, the kids siblings must be going through right now uh, it's just the most heartbreaking thing in the world and for those of you out there who are that age you know 16 17 18 and just getting your driver's licenses before you get behind the wheel if you've been drinking at all, and I, you know, I know in the U.S., 21 is the drinking legal drinking age, but it's different in different countries. So, uh, you know, I won't judge if you're if you're 16 and drinking. But if you've been drinking, if you have a cell phone, if you're really tired, please think two and three times before you get behind the wheel, and think about how important it might be that you're taking this trip in that state of mind because not only could you potentially lose your own life or maybe take the life of someone else uh, think about the families your family especially if you go away um, what would how would your parents feel how would your siblings your friends your pets feel if you were no longer around anymore um, just take it from me. I mean, I didn't even know these kids, but I know their mom, and like I said, it breaks my heart that they're gone, because they were good kids. They were good students. They were uh, good community members. Uh, the daughter was um, doing advocacy for special needs kids. Uh, the son was on the football team. They were looking forward to college. They had their whole lives ahead of them and they're gone. And there's nothing that can be done. They can't be brought back. I was trying not to cry. Um, but just think. 
really hard if you're capable of driving, if you've had a drink, um, if you're really tired, and definitely think two and three times before you pick up that cell phone, especially if you're a new driver, because you don't have the experience to control your if, if you lose control of the vehicle, you don't, just don't have experience to get the control back. You might think you do, but do you really? So, I guess my whole point of this video today is just really think about what you're doing and think about all the people that care about you before you get behind that wheel or pick up that cell phone in the car. Sorry that this was somewhat of a depressing video, but I guess I can't always promise happy ones. Um, until next time, I'll talk to you in two weeks. Bye.